Oh, it feels so good. The crypto market just had a massive crash, but what does this mean for GPU availability? Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So the GPU market may finally begin to recover as just this week Ethereum absolutely plummeted 28% which is continuing a trend where this month it dropped 40% and within the last 3 months it's dropped around 50% leading many to believe that cryptocurrency mining is going to be on the way out in 2022 but the question is will it continue and if so how long will it take for GPUs to drop to a reasonable price. Now real quick before we answer these questions if you're a gamer and you haven't been paying attention to the cryptocurrency market well you might be asking the question what does cryptocurrency have to do with gpus and that's actually a great question and real quick uh well we have to pay attention to the cryptocurrency market and especially ethereum because that is the main cryptocurrency that people are using gpus to mine with and so of course all these people are buying you know maybe hundreds thousands tens of thousands or in some case hundreds of thousands of graphics cards so they can go ahead and make money off of them mining ethereum so of course if we take a look at charts you might see that well when ethereum prices increase so do the price of GPUs so it's absolutely huge news when Ethereum drops significantly because this is also likely going to go ahead and make GPUs drop significantly as well but in any case with all that out of the way let's go ahead and answer that first question will this continue and honestly guys this isn't something I can 100% answer for sure and do keep in mind that everything I say here none of this is going to be financial advice this is just me giving my opinion based upon how it's going to affect the GPU market but in order to figure out whether or not Ethereum is going to continue dropping and whether or not GPU prices are finally going going to come down to a reasonable price, we first have to take a look at why Ethereum prices are dropping in the first place. Now, of course, there has been uh, just a general drop in the price of all stocks, at least in the US, as far as I can tell. So that definitely has had an impact. But we also do have to take a look at some of the uh, more recent news where it looks like Russia is actually considering a full ban on cryptocurrency. And this has definitely had a massive impact on the price of Ethereum. But there's also been some rumblings about potentially the EU banning all proof of work cryptocurrencies as, uh, you know, it could cause an energy crisis and there is also or has been a lot of talk about India potentially banning cryptocurrency for some time so of course all these various different factors are going to lead to a dip in Ethereum and this is going to have a massive impact on whether or not it goes up or down based upon which countries do or don't decide to go ahead and actually uh, change their policies when it comes to cryptocurrency now there is one other thing that could have a massive impact on the price of cryptocurrency and that's whether or not the US feds are going to go ahead and increase interest rates now you might be asking the question why is that going to have an impact? Well, if the feds go ahead and increase interest rates, this could slow down inflation in the U.S., which is one of the main reasons as to why a lot of people, at least in the U.S., have been putting their money into cryptocurrency because they've been trying to avoid the massive inflation that's been happening over here and in a lot of other places in the world. So, yes, that could also have a massive impact. And as you can see, there's a lot of various different factors that could impact whether or not cryptocurrency goes up or down. But just taking a look at the last three months, it looks like it's been trending down uh, regardless by a significant margin and honestly, even though I can't tell you for sure what's going to happen, I wouldn't be too surprised if it does go ahead and continue in that downwards trend. But now let's go ahead and talk about the second question. That's, you know, how long is it going to take if this does continue for GPUs to hit a reasonable price? And this is another question where I can't give you a 100% date as to, you know, when this is going to actually occur. But you know what, let's just go ahead and say that things continue dropping at their current rate, which is very, very quickly. Well, that also means that in a pretty short amount of time, you probably will be able to get your hands on something like an RTX 3080 for a fairly reasonable price. Now, is it going to be MSRP or even below MSRP? You know, honestly, guys, I'd love for that to be the case, but I actually don't think that's going to be the case. I think GPUs are going to stay just a little bit above MSRP because I think there's still going to be a little bit of a hard time getting at least specific GPUs for some time, even after something like proof of stake might occur. Uh, but honestly, in the not too distant future, maybe even within the next couple of months here, you might see GPUs drop significantly from where they're currently at. And we do have to keep in mind that they've already been dropping significantly and continuing to do so for quite some time. Just for example, if you take a look at the RTX 3080 back in December, uh, the non-LHR variant of that was going for over $2,000, but now it can be had, you know, pretty regularly for around $1,600 US dollars. Now, of course, I wouldn't recommend anyone purchase an RTX 3080 at $1,600. That's an absolutely ludicrous price to be asking for that type of GPU. However, if this trend does continue, maybe within another couple months, you might be talking about maybe $1,000 
dollars or even below for an RTX 3080. Maybe even within like three months, we're talking 800 bucks for an RTX 3080. And I think a lot of PC gamers might pull the trigger on something like a 3080 for 800 bucks, as we have to consider that there's just been a lot of inflation. And so there are people with a lot more wealth than there has been in the past as their paychecks have increased as well as many other things in the market. But finally, let's go ahead and talk about what I believe the prices for many popular GPUs are going to end up at after something like proof of stake, or at least mining profitability goes way, way down as well as its popularity. And here's something where I think some people will be a little bit disappointed, but overall, I think this is very exciting news and this is going to be a good thing for gamers, even though it might not hit the exact price that you are hoping for. So if you're hoping for MSRP on all the cards that you've been waiting for, I honestly don't know if that's going to occur. It is possible, but honestly, personally, I don't think you're going to quite see MSRP. I think it's going to be just a little bit above MSRP, especially if you're going to be buying something like an AIB card. So for example, if you take a look at something like the RTX 3080, kind of like I mentioned earlier, you know, honestly, I don't think it'll be 700 bucks even after proof of stake or something like mining, you know, popularity goes way, way, way down. I think it will be something probably closer to between 800 and 900 US dollars, depending on what people believe is going to be reasonable. Because again, there's been a lot of inflation. People have more money. Everything else is also more expensive. Now, taking a look at something like the RTX 3070, this I wouldn't be too surprised if it came in somewhere around 650 bucks. And for the RX 6700 XT, another popular GPU among gamers, something like this has a lot less demand from gamers, honestly, as a whole, even though it is a popular card, it does seem like a lot more people are going to be looking for Nvidia. So maybe cards like this from AMD, you might see something a little bit closer to its MSRP. Maybe even you will see MSRP, but honestly, I'm probably guessing probably more around $550 or higher for something like a card like this, especially an AIB model. So yeah, you might not end up seeing exactly MSRP or even below MSRP, but honestly, guys, just a little bit above MSRP. I think most people would be happy with that at this point. Of course, we'd always like it to go lower and lower and lower. And if we do get some competition from Intel in quarter one or quarter two of this year, that might be a possibility. It might drive things down even lower. But in the near future, if this does continue, if this trend of uh, you know Ethereum going down as well as the difficulty going up continues at the rapid pace that it's currently at, then yeah, I do think we will actually see reasonable prices for these cards in 2022, which is just going to be an amazing, great thing for gamers. And honestly, I think it is going to stay, you know, at fairly reasonable prices for some time. I do think we'll get a little bit of a price hike with the RTX 40 series, but overall, I think gamers are going to be happy with the prices they're going to be seeing in 2022, and I don't think you're going to have to wait too long. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the GPU prices are finally going to reach a reasonable price in 2022, or do you think things are just going to get worse? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.